Okay, we are starting out how to properly uh, hook up a intracranial pressure pressure line. And our guide, Marissa here, will show you how to do it. OR towel sterile. She's creating her sterile field. This is a um, ventric pressure line, different from the pressure lines we stock in our normal storerooms because these do not have the inline syringe um, for drawing blood purposes. Onto the sterile field as this will be entering the brain, which as we know, we do not want to get dirty. Cleaning with um, iodine um, swabs. Alcohol is also okay to clean with, um, but however chlorhexidine is not as it can kill um, potential organisms that we want to test for. Sterile saline syringe. Another sterile saline syringe, which you will find the use for here shortly. Now that she'll be handling the equipment itself, she will don the sterile gloves. Opening the pressure line. A couple things right off the bat. You'll notice there's a, um, a spike, like you would normally spike a uh, CC, like a half liter bag with. You can disregard that altogether. Um, you do that because when flushing this line and when it is actually hooked up to somebody's brain, having that hooked up to a saline bag, you run the risk of flushing into the brain, which is a big no-no. She's removing that piece, also just extra, um, don't need it more, applies for arterial lines or other pressure lines. She's cleaning all of her connections with the iodine stick. Again, alcohol would also be sufficient. This is just to double ensure that everything is clean and sterile. These yellow, these caps that she opened, she'll be replacing um, with the white caps that come on the pressure line itself. These white caps on the pressure line itself are not capped, but they allow fluid to flow through them. So once we have it primed, we need to put the yellow caps on so no fluid escapes. Hooking this sterile saline syringe up to it and she's pulling the red plunger to flush through. If you look closely you can see the water coming or the um, sterile saline coming through that white port and that's how you know to replace it with a yellow cap that's not open and that closes the system. Opens the stop pack so she can continue to um, finish flushing through the tubing. And there you see it's completely flushed. If you want, you can switch. If you want, you can switch the syringe to a full syringe. Um, that way from here, from this point forward, you know 
exactly there's 10 cc's in that syringe and if there's less then you know someone had flushed the system or flushed into the brain and you just want to know how much you have and you want to clean it off clean off this end this is the end that would then attach to um, the person's exterior ventricular drain once attached to that is how you are going to monitor your intracranial pressure um, by connecting to the pressure cable to our monitors and that's a wrap.